Hey guys, I just wanted to talk about working from home, especially for those of us who work from home, have been working from home, and those who are new to this working from home situation. So I'm just going to share some tips about working from home and how best you can work from home based on my experience. Um, to start with, I think that working from home does require someone to have a lot of discipline. Discipline in a sense that you have to wake up at a specific time. You have to know what you're doing in a specific day. You have to know how you're going to do it, how you're going to deliver it, and by what time you need to have this done, if that makes sense. So if say you, if the office, the normal office job is the kind that requires someone to wake up at five to be in the office by 7.30, if you're the kind that works from home and maybe you have kids, it's usually more flexible because then you're able to wake up early, maybe prepare the kids for school. Now that the kids are home, you're able to at least, if they're on holiday, well and good, you let them sleep. But now you're able to wake up and prepare yourself, plan ahead, plan a day before what you're going to do the following day. Then you're able to know exactly what you're going to deliver on. Of course, you're going to need good internet connection. You're going to need to have a printer. You're going to need to have printing paper. Also, maybe you can stock up on a ream of paper, two reams of paper, five reams of paper, whatever it is. Um, of course, make sure the printer has toner. If you can afford, you can have both a black and white printer and a color printer. So you're able to be flexible. And if the printer also has a scanner, even better, then you're able to print documents or scan documents, sign them, print them, sign them and send them back. Right. And um, it's, it's also important for you to have... Um, how can I put it to have a journal or have a vision board so you're able to know what you're doing when and how and what it requires so have a vision board because it helps you um, supervise yourself if you are not able to deliver on something you're able to know why you are not able to deliver on it and whichever way you look at it this situation has definitely disrupted everybody and so you can't actually start to say that it's disrupted you, but not so much. Yeah, in one way or another, we've all been disrupted by uh, COVID-19. So if you're the kind who works from home or is now getting having to readjust to start working from home, make sure you have some of the infrastructure that is needed for you to be able to cope with uh, the current situation. You can actually set aside some space within the house. It can be in one of your rooms that you do not use that often um, and decide what times you're going to be using that specific room. Um, you could say you'll be using it between seven and midday because that's when you concentrate the most or you could say you will use it between 3 p.m. and 7 p.m. because that's when you concentrate the most. Some people decide that they're going to uh, do it between 4 a.m and 9 a.m. because that's when the kids are asleep and that's when the concentration levels are up there. So you just have to figure out a way in which you can make this work. So you're not able to slow down on your deliverables, but at the same time, you are enjoying what you're doing while you're working from home. I don't know if that makes sense. Um, also, it's important for you to know that speed in delivery is important when you're working from home. Most times, we, if you work from home, you realize that there's so many distractions. So these distractions can include either a child walking into the room or you deciding you want to get a snack. And in trying to get a snack, maybe you're caught up by what's happening on TV. So you're not able to do the things that you wanted to do. Or maybe you lag up on time and instead of being done by midday, you're now looking at three o'clock. So there now those things that you need to train yourself 
and dedicate the mind to and say, if I am typing this, I'm going to type it for 40 minutes. And in 40 minutes, I will stop it and do the next uh, item on my agenda for the day. If um, maybe I was meant to go out, uh, do something, make sure you actually come up with a routine so you're able to align whatever it is that you set out to do and get it done so you're not lagging up on the other uh, tasks that you put out in your routine. So it's important for you to have a vision board, have a, um, a schedule or a task uh, journal. You can use a journal or you can use your phone, write your tasks in your phone, or you can alternatively have a board that you can pin on the wall, like say a wall over here, and say Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, this is what I'm going to be doing and this is how I'm going to be doing it. And also while you're at it, don't forget to give yourself breaks because too much work and no play makes joy a dull girl. So there's so many things you can do. Go on to TikTok, do some funny things on there, take a walk away from the computer for maybe a minute or five or ten, um, do some physical exercises, you can stretch out so you're not able to uh, burn out so easily when you're working from home. So I hope that did help somebody out there. Until the next one, bye-bye.